These are the MPOW M30s, and these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. The Samsungs cost $149, and the MPOWs just $40. Bucks. Are they worth your money? Let's find out. First, let's crack open the box. Immediately, we're greeted with the earbuds and their smooth black charging case. Underneath that, we get some extra ear tips and wing tips for different size ears, some paperwork, and a short USB-C charging cable. Surprise! Starting with design, it's clear Empow drew some inspiration from Samsung for these buds, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. They use the same compact in-ear bud style as those earbuds as opposed to the stem design of the AirPods. They also have small wingtips that hang off the sides that twist in to secure the buds in your ears. Like the Galaxy Buds, the case they come with is smooth and compact. It's noticeably smaller than the case for the similarly priced Soundpeats True Capsule that I reviewed a little while ago, but it still can't touch the champion of the AirPods case when it comes to size. The case doesn't have wireless charging, but it does have USB-C, an impressive first, at least for me, for earbuds in this price range. Thanks to that USB-C connection, the case also supports quick charging, gaining a full charge in only an hour and a half according to Empow. The buds have three little gold connection pins on their underside, so all you have to do is drop them in and they latch in magnetically, light up, and start charging. The indicator light up front will also light up to show how much battery you have left in the case. Speaking of battery, when it comes to battery life, the good news doesn't stop there. These earbuds offer up to 5 hours of continuous listening time, and in my testing I found that to be pretty accurate, they've yet to die on me once. What's better yet is that a fully charged case can recharge the buds up to 4 times. Combine that with the earbuds 5 hours of battery life for a total of up to 25 hours of listening time from a single charge. Getting the earbuds paired to your phone is super simple. They don't offer any fancy NFC or fast pair, but they paired right away to my Pixel 3 in the Bluetooth menu, and after the initial pair, they connect to your phone as soon as you open the case. Another great feature of these earbuds is that each bud works independently of the other, which is pretty rare for these cheap earbuds. That means you can just grab the left one and the right earbud and even switch them on the fly. The buds don't have any fancy software like an app or a custom EQ, but their out-of-the-box sound is pretty good. They definitely sound better than the Soundpeats I mentioned earlier, and are the best sounding wireless earbuds I've ever heard for under 50 bucks. I compared them to Apple's EarPods, and the two sound very similar. The Empows sound a bit fuller and have better bass than the EarPods for an overall more punchy and enjoyable sound, but they're less comfortable in my opinion. They have a weird, plugged up feeling when you put them in, because they go into your ears and essentially act as earplugs. The advantage to the in-ear design is that they have solid bass, you can even feel them vibrating in your skull a bit. It also means they have pretty good noise isolation too. Everything around you gets washed away when you put them in. You can still hear voices, but most sound fades away completely when the music starts playing. This does make it awkward to have a conversation with an earbud in though, if that's your kind of thing. Back to the good news. These buds offer the best touch controls I've ever used on earbuds, and they're pretty intuitive. A single tap on either earbud will play or pause your music. You can double tap on the right earbud to skip the current track, and on the left earbud to go to the previous track. You can also use that double tap to answer or end a phone call. Unlike many other true wireless models, I'm looking at you AirPods, these buds allow you to adjust the volume by holding your finger on the left to go down, and the right to go up. It's not super precise, but it's better than nothing. Finally, triple tapping on either bud will call up your phone's personal assistant. That's Google Assistant in my case, and Siri if you're on an iPhone. As you probably noticed, they light up white whenever you tap them, so you know your touches are being registered. Finally, to test the microphone on these guys, I've recorded an actual phone call, and I'll let you be the judge of that one. Alright, so this is a microphone test using an actual phone call, so you can hear what you would sound like on the other end of the call. So to start, this is what the microphone on the Pixel 3 XL sounds like. Now I'm going to switch over to the MPOW M30s. Now this is what the audio of the MPOW M30 sounds like. We're going directly from the earbud over the phone, exactly what you would sound like on the other side. How does it sound? Let me know in the comments down below. For reference, these are the similarly priced Soundpiece True Capsule, which I reviewed a couple of videos back. So this is what they sound like. Again, they're right around the same price, right around the forty dollars price range. So this is just a quick comparison to get you an idea of what some of the competition sounds like when it comes to call quality. So where does that leave us? Well, for only $40, you're getting some truly wireless buds that are super reliable and easy to use, have a nice design, great touch controls, and good battery life. I personally don't find them to be the most comfortable, and as you just heard, the microphone is pretty disappointing. But if you don't have much to spend on some solid competition to the likes of the Galaxy Buds and the AirPods, and you don't take too many phone calls, you won't be disappointed with the Empow M30s. 
So that was my review of the MPOW M30s. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. The link to where you can buy these and all the other earbuds I talked about are in the description down below, so be sure to check them out. And for the record, I received these buds as a review sample from MPOW, but I have not been compensated in any way to make this video. The opinions here are entirely my own, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below.